Over the past five months, there have been an incident of kidnapping in the northern state of Nigeria. Now, beginning from the abductions of the 300 students in Kankara in Castilla State in December 2020, other abductions followed in Zampara State, Niger State, and recently in Kaduna State. Now, it has been a worrying time as regards to the security of school children in some areas of the northern Nigeria. Now, Echo Oldbrook is on the street of Lagos to sample the opinion of people on the issues on the issue of kidnapping in Nigeria. I am Kendi Bashir. Stay tuned. My take on the recent kidnapping across the country is uh, the country is not safe for anybody, both political class and the citizen. And what led to the whole mess is problem created by politi politicians in both po local, state and federal level. People are not employed. People that are employed, they are not paid them the salary. And they've seen kidnapping, abduction is, trial is lucrative. Everybody's engaging it. It's Firstly, they are kidnapping just common man, rich man, common man. Now, now they have extended to school children. From northern Nigeria is getting closer to us. Recently, I think about a day ago, less than 24 hours, two students from OU on our other business on Banjo University ago, we were kidnapped at a satellite campus, their campus in Ayutoro. I blame the, I blame, I put all the blame on government. If people are not safe. If the poor man are not saved, the rich man will not be saved. If you create a job, like now, myself now, I'm busy now, you can see me sweating. I'm on the road. If I get home now, I'll be so tired, I won't be bothered to get, even to see my neighbor, to greet my neighbor, it's so difficult. But somebody that is I do, the devil's, uh, and I do mind, it's devil's workshop. Only thing government can use to solve this thing that create employment, pay the right salary, both the private and public sector to pay right salary for the workers. A take home that should take them to their house, not the one that cannot take them to their bus, to the bus stop. That's my take on this recent abduction. I think uh, the government just uh, must step up their game in terms of technology. Just like what we have in the Western world. There should be adequate surveillance with uh, dedicated staff that are ready to do the job. Then, there is, at this point, I think there is need for state police because the policing we have now, controlled by the federal government, we can all see that it's not working. So with state police, Maybe this day Amotekun, especially in the southern part of Nigeria, can graduate into state police, give them all the necessary equipment to do this job. The security is not too difficult. So the, 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 the local security outfit should be empowered more. They understand the terrain more than Nigerian police or even the military. The local vigilante, the local security, understand the terrain, they are terrain very well. So they can man them. It's a matter of just increasing their number. Like this morning I had the news, there was something like that, a kidnap and all those things. And to me, I think it's a good thing for the government to listen and to pay more attention to the security of this country, especially in the northern area of this country, because let's just take it or leave it. The main thing is, it is really rubbishing the face of this country. Whether we like it or not, look at the, the, uh, in, in the Western states. They don't take their security, they don't take it with levity. Let us focus on the security aspect of this country, especially in the Northern Sun. And let's just forget about being the Northern or the Southern or wherever. Let us, let this thing go around. Let us focus on the basic security, how to curb all this kidnapping and all this insecurity in this country. That's just my kind opinion. I'm quite aware that the government has tried all its power to make sure that I never come to this. 
but all those efforts has yielded no positive results. But my own understanding of how the kidnapping has been going on, I would like to encourage the government to work in hands with the with the local hunters over there that know the nooks and crannies of that environment in order to collaborate with the armed forces or the military personnel so that they can be able to stop the kidnapping. Government know what to do. All government know what to do. Because if you are negotiating with terrorists, there is no 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 amount of negotiation you can do with terrorists, it will come, they will also they will be coming. For example, let me give an example. If you're shy or your boy or your children, let's say you have three children, and one of them breaks something in your house, like, a, like a, maybe your television, and the next time, the next children, you buy another PS3 for the person. The other one will be breaking it. So what I'm saying is that the bandits, the mandate, the kidnapper, the X-Men, all these things, government know what to do. And the best thing to do is that they should shoot by the side. Anybody that is kidnapping should be they should take them to law. But if you don't, if somebody do something, I didn't do anything, they will continue to do it. Nigerian government know what to do. Killing innocent people, kidnapping innocent people. At this stage, do you know how much is dollar now? This regime, what we are living now, we are suffering. The fire, everything, nothing is working in Nigeria. So the government know what to do. This is not even a matter of. They know what to do. They know the, the people that are doing these bandits, doing this kidnapping, they know themselves. They are making money from it. Do you understand? So the solution, which I think the Sebuari has passed the law, that they should shoot by the side, whatever, they should be held responsible. It's not, the Nigeria is not, we can't keep living like this. There is not, nothing is working in this country. Nothing is working. So how would they go to uh, Ogun State University? So they are extending it. From uh, not, I was told that the, the people from North the Kano, the children have been kidnapped. So this is they've turned into business, business, kidnapping business. It is well, Nigeria. It is well, Nigeria. This is wrong. We need to do something about. It. Nigeria is a country that we all grew up in this country, and we know how this country is. So we know the bad people. The bad people are the people that we know them. I don't want to mention. We know them. And that's it from the street of Lagos. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Echo Odd Blog. I am Kengde Bashir. Thanks for watching. <laughs>